Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to create a brush in Photoshop that's going to paint something like this. So we're going to start with a new file. I'm going to make mine 500 by 500 pixels in size. I'll click Create. Now I want to divide this sort of about two-fifths and two-fifths. So I'm going to the Ellipse tool here. I'm going to make sure that I'm filling with black and I am going to make sure that I'm using a shape. I'm going to click here and I'm going to make a shape that is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. In other words, it's a 200 pixel circle. Now with it selected, I want to align it to the top of the document. So I'm going to these three dots, make sure that Align to reads to Canvas. I'm going to center it on the document and I'm going to align it to the very top edge. I'm going to display my Layers palette. You can see yours by choosing Window and then Layers. I'm going to make a duplicate of this ellipse just by dragging and dropping it onto the plus symbol. And this shape I'm moving to the bottom of the document. So I'm just going to click here. So these two shapes together are my brush and so to make it into a brush I'll choose Edit and then Define Brush Preset. I'm going to call this Roadway because it paints pretty much like a roadway. I'll click OK. Now I can trash this particular document and I'm going to open or create a larger one to test the brush in. I'm going to do a document that's 2000 by 2000 pixels in size. Now because I just created that brush, the brush tool is going to be selected and my brush is going to be enabled. So let's see how it's painting. Well, it's not painting very well at all. I did have smoothing turned up, so I'm just going to put smoothing back down again. But the problem with this brush is even if I shrink it down to a smaller size by pressing the open square bracket key, it's not painting properly like a roadway. What we need to do is to change part of the brush's settings. So I'm going up here to the brush settings dialog. I'll click on that. Brush settings opens up over here. What I want to do is Shape Dynamics. So I'm going to click here on Shape Dynamics so it has a little check mark in the box beside it. I'm going to Angle Jitter and I'm going to set Angle Jitter to Direction and that's going to make the brush follow the direction that we're drawing in. Now there are a couple of adaptations that you can do here. If you find that your brush is a little bit too angular, you can turn smoothing on. That's going to give you a bit of a delay, but you might find that you get better results with it. But you can also apply brushes to paths. So what we're going to do is go back to this ellipse tool here and instead of shape, which is what we just created earlier, we're going to create a path. So I'm just going to click on path and I'm going to draw out a large circle here. I just have the shift key enabled, press down while I'm drawing so that I get a perfect circle. If we come up here to the paths palette, what you'll see is that we have got a work path, a circle here. So what I'm going to do is with it selected, I'm going to click on the brush to tell Photoshop that this is what I want to use. And then I'm coming down here to this option, which is Stroke Path with Brush. And when I click it, you'll see that the path gets the brush stroked onto it. If you don't like that, I'm just going to press Control Z. I'm going to shrink my brush a little bit. I think it's a bit too big, so I'll shrink it down a little bit and go back and try again until I get the result that I am looking for. To get rid of this path here, you can just click away from it and you can see here that I have a set of sort of roadway, circular roadway on the background of my document. I'm just going to undo that because there is another option that you can use and that is using something like the curvature tool. Again, set to path. I'm going to just draw a curved line with the curvature tool and it's possible to also apply a brush to it. So I'm going to tell Photoshop that the brush is this one that I want to apply to the line and I'll just click to apply it to the line. At this point you need to be aware that the stroke is independent of the path. So if you don't like the way it's gone on, if perhaps you need to make adjustments to the stroke, then you'll need to undo everything, make adjustments to your stroke. And when you've made the desired adjustments to your stroke, go back and select it with the path selection tool, re-enable your brush and apply the stroke back onto it. 
So there are plenty of options here for getting things that look like roadways in Adobe Photoshop and also different ways that you can apply brushes to paths to get perhaps smoother looking results. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.